kill my kids. <laughs> you want to do it? Go ahead. I yeah. kill my kids. Yeah. Loving liberal. Uh, we actually, at the moment, we do rather better than the men. And you guys, you're such pathetic wimps. You go along with all this rubbish about how we, we well, need on, women's I rights. I've been trying to stand up for poor ma emasculated men. You do men. that. You do that. But do you think there's a... I mean, what they would argue, the women on the march, is that they were arguing... They weren't the arguing genuine... anything. They were shouting. Well, I, I felt it was more of an anti-Trump thing, I've got to be honest with you, and the fact that the female candidate had lost and they were all very annoyed about it. But, well, but, but they think it's about genuine... They haven't quite got equality yet. We've got absolute equality. We've got advantages which the men haven't got. Uh, I actually think it's gone very unfairly the other way. My view of equality is just that, is that men and women compete on equal terms, equal terms, not with uh, one side having the playing field uh, tilted towards them. And, uh, and sorry, just that on, the is issue, my view. on the issue of equal pay, yes there is legislation that means that men and women should be paid the same amount. But the fact of the matter is women are still not paid the same amount for doing the work that I'm someone sorry, sitting that, next that, to them might That is doing. a complete nonsense. If you go into it, I mean, the fact is that if you do exactly the same job as a man, you must in law have exactly the same pay. Except but it's women, hard to get transparency women, about women, what's, what's women, a man doing finish, the same job as you finish, is getting. Susanna. You can, yes, yeah, but I'm just I'd, challenging I'd like that particular point. I'd like to finish this sentence, mm -hmm. and I state again that the law says you can't have two rates of pay uh, for one job. The reason that it looks statistically as if women do worse is because women tend far more to work part-time because they have child responsibilities. They tend to take time off uh, for maternity leave and so they fall back in the promotion stakes. Those are the sorts of reasons, not because there's some discrimination against somebody who's prepared to come in and work every day just the same as I mean, me. Stand like up for yourself, will you? Well, don't worry, you don't have to worry about me. I've been trying to stand up myself all week and I've been killed for it. But it, my, I don't my... think so, you're sitting here. Feminism is cancer, cancer, Can cancer. You know, having even mentioned the Floyd Mayweather fight, they're walking away with, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. You being at the, at the height of your sport, maybe make, what, a, a million dollars at most per fight? Does that anger you, and what can we do to change that? Uh, I don't like to talk about exactly how much money I make, but I'm extremely comfortable and happy. You are? Yes. Okay, so... And, uh, you know, if I got to a point where I had almost 50 fights, I would probably be making close to the same amount of money as Floyd does. But at this point, I have a weapon, so... <laughs> What do you think about all of the rapes that have uh, that have been exposed in the media as fakes? It seems like a lot of the high-profile rape cases, the Duke Lacrosse, uh, Columbia University, UVA, is that damaging a women's cause or should we cover this stuff anyway because it's such an important issue? It's such an important issue, I mean, because th these people's their lives are affected. Um, it, it it's prevents them from living um, a, a, a sane and normal life. These are things born out. Um, as far as the institutional racism, all I would ask you to consider, you can believe what you want, but I would ask you to consider this. Shouting institutional racism does not actually combat racism. You have to find individual instances and you have to show me who the racists are so that we can fight them together. What I find really problematic is, is the virtue signaling that I see by so many people on the other side, which is, I don't have to give you the racist, I don't have to tell you who he is or what measures I'm proposing, I just say institutional racism, everybody cheers for me because that's an approved point of view, and now we move on with our lives. You haven't helped anybody, you've just made yourself feel better. Okay. And I, I think, I think right. that the idea of putting to a racist person mm -hmm. is fundamentally in contrast with the idea of institutional racism, because institutional racism grapples with um, implicit bias in the society as a whole, or not like, yeah, not like it goes to right, machines, unless, but unless in Unless you're connecting that to a policy, it's a cop out. Because now we're ghost hunting again. Racist behavior is evil. I want to fight it with you, but I can't fight it if you're not if you're not showing me what it is. And we have to decide together if the policies you're proposing will alleviate racism or exacerbate racism. And it turns out I think that a lot of the policies proposed by the left, I think institutional racism is a way is is usually a lever for proposing a policy that is actually unpalatable to freedom, and then in, and then and then castigating people on the other side of that policy as being in league with the institutional racism. But I think that slogans generally tend not to be particularly effective in getting us to solutions. Can you believe that I only make 78%?
actually, do you know what? No serious economist takes the wage gap seriously. Women aren't paid differently for the same work as men. You need to revisit the dictionary and learn the difference between wages and earnings. 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 Damn! That shit good! Amber Rose, do you believe in rape culture? I'll randomly come out here and probably twerk because I'm in a really good mood. I'm gonna get money, honey, say right here. I'm not too certain what twerking is doing to stop rape, but Damn! it's um, an interesting event. More like a party festival, I think. All right, so why are you guys out here today at the Slut Walk? Beautiful ladies. Of course, beautiful ladies. Amber Rose. Amber. Amber? So all of you just came out here to see all the chicks scantily clad? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a great cause. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for the sluts. <laughs> I'm all for the slut. <laughs> How many rapes do you think the slut walk has stopped? It's not one bad apple, it's rape culture. It is rape culture. So I'm just wondering if what does culture mean to you? What does the word mean? Why why is it okay for people to idealize women or or treat them like they're like they're a piece of meat like when when we're not I agree I don't think that should happen to either gender but can you really call it a culture for example we've got some people who speak Spanish in Canada but that's we don't live in a Spanish culture so some rapes happen but we don't live in a rape culture we don't live in a culture that supports rapists Damn!